challenges of directing the show would be t for me to look at the writing fresh. Sometimes that was a little tough for me to uh, not already have a preconceived notion of what I wanted. I, I do, the, the show is loose and I do allow the girls to have a lot of leeway. There's a lot of parameters that they have to hit. They have to hit certain beats and certain moments, but then they have a lot of leeway. And as long as they know what those beats and moments are and where the focus is, who has the football at all times, then there's a lot of play within that. And it's surprising how touched the men get at the show because sometimes you know it's the guy that gets dragged to the theater and they're going to a musical and and they sit there and then they have these memory recall that they had no idea that they were going to have and they hear a song and they go oh my gosh I danced to that song or I met my first girlfriend to, to that or this is how I met my wife we sang this song together or you know we, it was our song at our prom and uh, so they do get touched but it is definitely that 45 to 55 year old woman that comes in and uh, it's kind of a girl's night out and they really have a great, great time. There is a spin-off already of this show. It's called, uh, well it's not a spin-off, it's a sequel. The sequel is called Winter Wonderettes and it's a, a holiday version of the show. It's not actually a version, it's a totally new show. And that show uh, has, has been around for a few years and we've done that regionally. Uh, we're doing it in Laguna Playhouse this season. And uh, there is an, a spin-off of sorts called Life Could Be a Dream that's uh, playing right now. It's doing great business in Los Angeles. We hope to bring it to New York. I think the appeal of the show is, a huge appeal of the show is nostalgia. Uh, it does harken back to uh, an easier time, a safer time, at least what we think of in our minds as a safer time, a happier time, especially before the economy blew up around us. You know, and everyone thinks, oh, the 50s wasn't that great and easy. Of course, that's just our memory of it, and that's kind of our Hollywood memory of it, because it was, wasn't really any easier. It was just, I bet you, I, I think the roles of everybody were more laid out. So you knew what you were to do, you knew what you were supposed to do, and uh, and it's also a time of where music was very simple. Uh, and it was all about the storytelling of the music. Now, music is a lot about production and sounds, and you can do a lot of mixing and a lot of things, and it doesn't really require a lyric from beginning to end that's telling a story. And so a lot of this music does that, so it lends itself to the theater. It's like a, a lot of little one-act plays, these old pop songs. One, two, 